With the proliferation of big box stores and thoroughfares, cities across America began to see their quaint hometowns turned into shelves of their former selves. Vacant, run-down buildings existed where city hubs of activity once stood. This was also the case for Tavares. Ballwares, Lake Region Packing Plant, The Hitching Post, Bank of Tavares, Garner Hardware, Ace Hardware, and the Hotel and Pool Hall were all examples of businesses that once drew consistent streams of people into downtown. Fast forward to the early 2000s when Lake County government began planning its judicial complex expansion and parking garage. For the then Tavares Council, this magnified the challenge of a rapidly declining commercial tax base. The county was looking to grow eastward along the waterfront and even contemplated purchasing the lake region property. This would have eliminated the possibility for a cornerstone of thriving private sector businesses that would be important to offset the tax burden for generations of residents to come. Tavares leaders discovered a focused citizen's vision and a brand was greatly needed for what to say yes and what to say no to. Not having this already in place complicated discussions with the county. Leaders only knew they didn't want the county to build government service buildings along the valuable waterfront. Everything changed when Tavares residential and business community members rolled up their sleeves and got to work. What's so significant about this is that the community members led this themselves. This was unique only to Tavares. At the time, Tavares leaders learned that in order to restore the once vibrant downtown and benefit the community as a whole, there had to be a reason for people to return to downtown. The citizens' brand and vision were created specifically to answer these questions and served as a structure for prioritization. During the discovery process, members of the community learned what was happening was special, a distinction that later became the brand. Tavares happened to be the midway point for seaplanes flying to and from the Bahamas. Seaplane pilots from all over the country were pulling up on shore to walk across town with gas cans in hand to refuel their planes. Many had even shared that if there were a place to stay, a place to eat, or even a place to spend their money, they absolutely would. This became the perfect intersection to capture what was naturally occurring to put the structures in place to amplify visitors' traffic into downtown. Tavares leaders leveraged the new brand with events tailored to attract people to come and patronize Tavares businesses. The more the tailored events took place, similar to how highways attract masses of people, the more downtown businesses could rely on foot traffic to risk their own capital building and expanding their businesses. The Pavilion, the Splash Pad, Ruby Street, Seaplane Base, Prop Shop, Marina, Water, Sewer, and Park Systems, and investments in public safety have all served the citizens as examples of infrastructure from the citizens' vision attracting private sector investment that just 10 years ago did not exist. These are new reasons to return to Devaries, to thrive, and to visit. The Tavares Renaissance is a story underway with big decisions made, contributing to the story that leaders will tell a decade from today. Mm -hmm.